Hey everybody, it's Whip Ray here, and I'm playing Empyrean Galactic Survival. Where we last left off, I was with Tornath and uh, James, and they were doing their own thing, and I was on Akua, and I was building my own little dropship. And as you can kind of see here, I'm a little bit further than where I was on the dropship. Um, I've got the forward section of the ship kind of done. Um, plan on putting the uh, warp core right in that wonderful little red bracket there. Uh, I've got a basic hallway kind of set up. Uh, I've got the various hangar bays and like kind of a temporary living space in one of the hangar bays there. I used the blueprint factory to make a uh, small vessel that I found going to the moon because I'm in dire need of sathium to make the aforementioned uh, warp port. <clears throat> I've got two more empty um, uh, hangar bays and a large one in the back here and then I've got my little bit of engineering session kind of started. And actually, I've been crafting shit tons of blocks so that I can actually finish uh, getting the rest of the interior done uh, whilst I do other things, I guess. So, um, I need to actually kind of start placing these now. So I'm going to start doing that on stream because I'm like kind of a little bit, you know, needing to get that done. And because uh, also I am, I think, a, li a little deep in my cups at this point, I'd say. I, I wouldn't quite call this a drunk Empyrean episode, but I am definitely inebriated. So, uh, bear with me with any type of confusion and or stuff like that um, as I uh, work through that. So, um, yeah, current up goals for this episode are hopefully get um, the rest of the um, exterior of the ship at least built up. Um, I've got like another level or so, because this will be the fuel area with the, um, the RCS's, the fuel tanks underneath it's going to be a generator. I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in the room. It's going to have a mirror on the other side of the ship in the event that I lose, like, you know, a quarter of the ship or something like that. And then <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put the farming area, where I'm going to put the uh, food area, and where I'm going to put the uh, med bay, I guess, for lack of a better word. Because I've got the construction area and i got the storage area. And I've also got the warp core. I just don't know where I'm... Oh, yeah, and I've got the O2 stations kind of, like, on a central pillar where they're going to be going, but I don't necessarily know where I'm going to be putting... Um, I guess food area is the only real wild card I have left of where I need to put things. And I have a distinct feeling I am fucking up. Yeah, I am I am totally fucking that up. Wow, go me. Okay, so let's uh <clears throat> get rid of that and put these back on. So we need to have our slope. And we need to actually probably be There we go. Need to be facing the right direction with these guys. Um, there we go. Those will all be straight, so we just need to kind of. What's another three? One, two. I think it is. I think it is another three because we need to go. Yeah, yeah. So it does need to go up like one more level from this. So we do that. Kind of hop on top of our elevator block. That we're gonna try to hop on our elevator block, and then we're gonna fail miserably. <clears throat> And then we're just gonna kind of get the rest of these blocks done. Uh, what I'm gonna do once I get this engineering se engineering section done is I'm gonna head over to the moon of Akua because I do need the more s I do need greater quantities of sathium. And then with that, we'll probably hit a few bases in the process because I mean, what's well, an episode with a lot of little violence? And you know, we'll go from there. So, um, normal cubes. Uh, let me up. All right. So there it is. Come on, there we go. There's that. We're just gonna do that number. Do that number. Um, as I recall, this whole thing needs to be like that. <clears throat> that and this goes into that, like so. And boom. Shakalaka. There we go. It's like we have our own little base or something, kind of, like, built up. There we go. And that should be one, two... Does it need to be three? Did I build up the three over here? I did not. I did... Or, no, did I? Did I? Did I? One, two, three, four. And I just kind of squished myself. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. So I kind of make myself go squish. <sighs> And I feel better, because I have medkits. Alright, so, uh, if I remember right, an RCS should go there, and then my fuel tank should go there. 
Um, this should be a little T joint here. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, that's a T joint. And then my yeah, my RCS will be right there next to the elevator. Okay, so let's go to grab the other S RCS that we have. Eh, eh, eh. Wrong door. Um, here it is. Uh, RCS. Boom. Give me a box. Of cockpit. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Oh wait. Um, I should probably make a pair of fuel tanks. Um, I'm not quite level 15 yet. I'm only level 12 and three quarters. 15 is where I believe I unlock the tech three fuel tanks and the large thrusters, which is something I'm really shooting for, so I can have the ship, you know, completely ready for flight before I start doing crazy things. Um, but oh, I think I have someone in the chat. Oh, I have someone in the chat. I have a Joe in chat. Hey, Joe, how's it going? What's up, you playing Imperium? I am, and I am currently recording. Hi, everybody. Okay. This is Joe. As you hey all everybody! Know. So um, yeah, I was building a large fuel tank, which I don't have the copper for because I suck at life. Okay, so we're not building fuel tanks. Instead, we are going to do uh, normal blocks because uh, yeah, improvising, improvising. And there we go. We have a walkway that kind of spans the whole freaking thing, like that. There we go, there we go, there we have, our, our ship is kind of slowly coming together, because like, originally, as everyone saw in the last episode, it was just really a framework, and right now, um, we actually have like a navigable um, vessel, which is really kind of exhilarating, because like, I didn't actually think I'd ever get this far with this thing. So there we go, we're going to separate the bays, as so, and do that, and do that, there we go. And we just need to. Oh no 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 no! Fuck. Now let's do that and that. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Um, we have our things like that. There we go. There we go. We have our our walkway. I don't know what I'm gonna do at the end of the hall yet, <clears throat> but. Uh, the important bit is that we have the oxygen and potentially the ammo bins kind of all already accounted for in terms of where we're putting them, I hope. If not, well, eh. Um, so let's get that done there, and that done there, and there we go. We have the interior of the, uh, the spine of the ship is more or less done with the oxygen tanks and stuff. I still need to put in, like, an ammo bin, either right here, do I need to do it right there, or do I need to... Actually, yeah, we could do an ammo bin right there. So if we pull out, oops, if we pull out, oh, wrong tool. So we pull out that guy. We can pull a, uh, put a two, a, a large ammo bin in place here, and that would kind of round out this spine of the ship section. Um, next up, with our other 149 blocks that we have, we need to put slope blocks down like so for the leading nose of the ship. Like that, and uh, let's get that guy there, 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 and there. All right. So we have the kind of the leading nose of the ship because if everyone remembers from the last episode, um, I did pull a image of a uh, broadsword class dropship from BattleTech, and that is going to be the rough guideline I'm going to be using in this uh, ship thing. So, uh, we've got the exterior, or not really exterior, we've got that done. We actually have interior decks, which is mildly terrifying, because I never thought I'd actually get that far. And we do that, and finish up these walls here. And then a little fun fact, um, I was measuring it, and our character stands at approximately, like, you know, each one of these blocks is about two meters. You know, our character is about a meter, 1.8 meters, 1.8 seven, five meters, give or take. And so, um, for the Battletech fans out there, um, an atlas stands 14 meters tall, which is about seven squares. So we're at one, two, three, four, five. That's, you know, about 10 meters tall. We're almost the, this is almost the actual size of a dropship. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. At least for me, but, you know. Eh. But, uh, for the most part, this isn't too far off from the actual scale. And if I remember right, when I was looking at the, uh, or the weight of the ship, it's at 1.51 kilotons. 
I am inclined to say that the broadsword class dropship was along the lines of like 1.75 kilotons, I think. So yeah, um, we're kind of actually on point for how heavy the ship is. Admittedly, I'm missing like most of the decks, but it is kind of nice to see the comparison of um, how big we are versus, you know, how big we should be. So um, let me just get the... I don't have a door there anymore. Um, let me just go down to the lower decks, and once we're in the lower decks, we're going to uh, put a another our second RCS unit into the ship in the other section of this engineering bay as we go over to here. And uh, from there, we are going to... That don't look right. That, that don't look right. Elevator's one square across. That, that doesn't look right. Something is... Okay, apparently I made that a little bit more blocked than I originally intended. Okay. Um, so... Huh, okay, so that one's just directly across like that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. So I guess I did that? Okay. Alright! Oh yeah, because that's why I, I did this so that if, like, you start blowing out components, and I just fell through the fucking ship. I'm not sure how I did that one, but congratulations to me. Um, I uh, set up so that if you, you know, blow a component out, or blow a block out, you're not necessarily going to absolutely fuck up the ship with regards to the generators or the um, RCSs. Because uh, generators are kind of buried far unless you go out through the bottom, and then, you know, the RCS is kind of surrounded by a bunch of blocks. So it should be relatively safe. Uh, the two fuel cells are going to go right in there. Um, that's the other, th oh god, I fell, I fell, I fell, back up, there we go, um, my jetpack is full, there we go, alright, so we're just gonna kind of, um, be an idiot and just let that kind of do that number, there we go, and we're gonna extend this over to the other side, like so, boom, there we go, alright, and then we can actually kind of, if we want to, we can actually seal this off, I think we might seal this off. Because I don't see any reason not to seal this off. That, up, up, we go. There we go. And then that can go to here. And then that is that, that, and that. That's that. And one more. And then we need to do a couple slopes. Come on. There we go. There's one, two. Three, and we have that nice curve that Torneth always loves. Can't ever forget those. And that also kind of mostly closes up the uh, top of the ship here. So we're just going to do that number, that number, that number, that number, that number, and that number. Ideally, we may put like one more of the top so that this is covered as well from the top so we don't have a chance of having the hangar door blown out. But um, that said, let's get the rest of this kind of done up like that, like that, like that, and uh, like that, we're almost out of blocks, which is perfect, because, you know, I've got a shit ton more of these things in the constructor, but we're having a roof on our capital vessel, which is hugely important, so I'm going to do here, get the ceiling on this guy, because uh, after this step, the next thing we're going to do is going to make a, oh, we're out, give me in. So yeah, um, what we're probably going to do is, since that area is still wide open at the top, um, the actual cockpit area is going to be approximately where I'm kind of standing right now. It'll be raised up above so you can see above the rest of the ship, and so you're kind of looking down the slope. And so I'm going to have to figure out some sort of way to, I guess, get this situated. Yeah, I don't really know how the hell I'm going to manage this. But in any case, um, we have placed all of our things. I should have a few more things of food in our wonderful hand refrigerator, which I totally do. Come on. And... There we go. All right. So we're fed. We're good to go. Um, let's go to space. Because <clears throat> I need sathium. I've got mm, seven drill charges. Let's do a thing. Let's do it. Come on. Um, my oxygen full. Let's put the helmet back on. Let's uh, power this guy on. Let's uh, let's leave a Cuba. 
whoop. <clears throat> Whopping 700 meters to orbit, and this is going to be the first time we're actually leaving the planet. Um, up at this point, we've just been building on the capital vessel. We don't have an actual base, but I do need Sathium, and I probably need a decent bit of Neodymium so I can make advanced CPUs. So while we're on the moon, we're looking for those two things, uh, Neodymium, Neodymium, Sathium, and additionally, we also are going to need... Um, what is the other word? We are also going to need um, the crystals for the warp fuel. That's going to be our kind of final thing. Admittedly, this ship is a little bit more tight to view in than I remember. Oh, oh, wow, that's... That is kind of cool. Okay, that is a different map. Can you pivot it? You cannot pivot it. All right, so I need to turn around. Up the sensitivity on my mouse. We need to go to the moon. Because the moon is going to have the crystals we need, and admittedly, in the asteroid belt, it should have some sathium deposits. But um, right now, we're going to need more of the. Um, we're going to need more of. Well, no, no, we do. We actually do need a good bit of the sathium. So, we'll hit an asteroid for sathium. We're going to go to the moon, get the crystals, and then from the crystals on the moon, we're going to see if we can get a neodymium deposit. Because I know neodymium is definitely on the moon. Um, I don't know about sathium off the top of my head. I could be mistaken, but uh, we'll find out when we get there. I also have no guns, so it's going to be very interesting if I get in a fight. <laughs> um, hopefully, there's, I'm surprised there's not a... Oh, shit. Lost focus. Alright. Um, what is that blue thing there? That looks almost like Promethium? Is that Promethium? It doesn't tell you what's in the asteroid belt, but that looks like a Promethium asteroid. That is a Promethium asteroid. Okay, cool. That's neat. All right. I'm not going to complain. But what we are looking for, though, is Sathium, and I'm not seeing any. And that's making me very, very sad. Good news is there's no drones, because, I mean, I'd be utterly but fucked if I did have to deal with drones because I don't have any bullets. But um, I'm surprised there's just uh, my mouse keeps losing. Um, my mouse keeps losing the um, focus on the witch monitor on. But I, I is that a Sathium on right there? Please tell me. That. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's oh, there's a drone. That's uh, awkward because I don't have a lot of bullets. To the moon we're going. Oh boy. This could get really awkward. Because I don't have any bullets. Shit. What is that? Ooh, 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 what is that? What is that? What what is that? What is that? Freighter Athorian heavy lift. What is this? Does he have guns? I think he has guns. Does he have guns? He's hostile according to my map. He's not shooting at me. I think the turrets are definitely looking at me. He's moving. Okay. That's... That's a thing. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna... Okay, yeah, well, well we're, we're gonna go to the moon. We're going to go to the moon. It seems like the safer option, because I don't have guns, and I can't deal with that drone that's over the asteroid. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to go to the moon. We're going to see what we can dig up here. Because uh, my ship's fully stocked with oxygen, and it's also fully stocked with uh, fuel. So, theoretically, I could even find one of the wrecks and loot that instead. All right, so we have arrived, I think, on the, on the dark, bright side of the moon. Okay. So now we just need to. Oh, we are using one of the prefabricated uh, small vessels because fuck actually learning all the parts to do the small vessel thing. You know, I just need to be able to produce it in the factory. You know. All right. So our first priority is going to see. Actually, do we have sathium on here? We do have sathium on the planet. All right. So there is sathium on the world, which means we could probably dig for that. And there's also neodymium. Which we also need, but there's also copper. There's actually everything except for... And there's cobalt. Yeah, there's everything here, but except for, I guess, oxygen. Stuff to make oxygen with. 
So theoretically, while I'm here, I could stock because I know I'm down like one bar of copper on the planet. I could stock up with copper on here, get the sathium, and get the neodymium, come back to the base, and just make all the parts I need to and be able to lift off with the... Oh, shit, what are those? What are those? Those are rocket drones. Ooh. All right. Um, but yeah, we could essentially get all the parts we needed to construct all the other pieces we need. Oh, shit, I just found copper. Beautiful! Uh, what is that, though? Is that a base? That looks like an angry base. Set this guy down. All right, can we power this guy? Nope. There we go. All right, so we're gonna pop out. We have our stuff. We're gonna get the crystals. What's that? It's one crystal. You're on the moon. Feels great. And that is one of those drones. And I don't have nearly enough bullets. My option is going to be primarily to run. Alright, so we have how many crystals? Ten raw crystals. I probably want to get like another ten more before I worry about um, trying to make it out of here. But I am very curious because they said there was a Sathian deposit. There was a there was a base though. I'm very curious as to where that base is. Where is that base at? Was a base like that's the planet? Oh, there it is, right there. Huh. All right. Well, let's see. What we got. Are you gonna shoot at me? There's an excavation site. Is the turret shooting at me? No, the turret is not shooting at me. I don't think I've ever seen an excavation site. All oh, those fuel tanks. Ooh. And blink. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, shit. Oopsie. Didn't have the helmet on. Uh, what is that? That is a small generator of tier 2 fuel tank. Okay, well, what do we have in here? Because there's no one hostile around here. And I can... Very obviously access everything. It's pressurized, of course. Okay. Two empty farming areas. Jetpack off. There it is off. All right. Let's, let's poke around. Oh, ox. Okay. Ooh. Yes, please. I will gladly take all of this nice food. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, those cargo containers. Oh. Bathroom. Great. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh. Closet. A uh, tech 2 drill. Alright. Alright. We're doing better. Alright. Some poor guy's quarters. Oh, I gotta land on my ship right here. Uh. Multi charge. Or. Ooh, it's a Corsimore. A restrium and magnesium. All right, not too bad. Let's loot all. Ooh. Helps if I click the button. Here we go. These are orange. Okay. All right, that's not so bad. I'm wondering what this is though, because this is this has got my attention. Ooh, med, med bay, med bay, med bay. What we got in here? Ooh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Well, that's a large box. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's let's grab this. Okay. Large box, seaweed, space oranges, burning fruits, corn. Um, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. There we go. An operating table. All right. A scanner. That's weird. Okay. Alright, oh, that's... Alright, so we got the medical thing done. Okay. So we've got the medical thing, we did the main area, we... Did we check this? I don't think we checked this one. It's just like, power? Oh, energy. Oh, okay. Take that, what is... That is a really weird statue. Okay. 
don't want her. Um. Oh, nutrient solution. That's good. Uh, plasma, eggplant parts, spiky mushroom. Oh, that gives you a lot of health. Okay. All right. We're gonna leave that there because I don't really need that. That's, but that's kind of interesting. Let's go back to our ship. Drop the crap off. Land on the landing pad because I didn't even know that was a thing. Let's poke around a little bit more before we end this episode. Because um, I didn't even know this was a thing. To be honest with you. All right. We just need to come on down right here. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, rotate. There we go. Power off. There we go. Alright, so let's access our cargo box, which we have right here. And just kind of dump all of this stuff off. Blink. There we go. Pretty good. And suddenly the ship looks a lot heavier. I couldn't imagine why. Um. So yeah, let's get the other stuff in the, uh, in the, uh, in the little med bay thing in the house. Because I'm not really sure what to call this. Um, we have here. Ooh, fridge. Fridge of food. Uh, can't access that. Bathroom. Is already in here? I was not already in here. Hell yeah. So I got another Tech 2 drill. Okay, that's really nice. Alright, um, that's the big mysterious battery I don't feel like fucking with right now. Um, what is this? That's oh, just a small generator, okay. So, when I was in... I didn't go up to the third floor, though. Alright, let's check this area here, and then check the third floor over on our right, and see what we get. And we just fucked up all the steels. Alright, what's that? Dino Royal Stew. Alright, alright, alright. Bathroom. This should be the other half of the door. <laughs> I found a new toy, everybody! <laughs> alright, I have a new gun. Cool. Alright, um, let's get up here. That was really fortuitous. Alright, you can close, maybe. There we go, keep the pressure differential thing being important at all. Or something, I'm not sure. Um, this should be this other half thing. Actually, it's like two bottle, okay. Alright. Can we go higher? It, oh, there is a higher. Ooh, okay. I wonder what's in here. Oh, that's the core. Oh. I'm gonna leave this intact right now, because there's no reason for me to take it out. I'm also pretty sure I don't have enough ammo to take it out. I think the things I was trying to loop were in here. Was it right? Um, yep, here it is. Alright, so there's all of that. Um, that should just leave... I was already up there. I don't think I went up to the second one, though. So let's go hit this real quick. Hopefully not falling to our deaths. And then we'll get the other things of pentacrack er, Pentaxid crystals. And we'll wrap things up there. What in the... Oh... Alright, um, wait, I got this one. There, I, get, I, I guess I already got all these. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am not gonna complain. Um, let's. That's weird. Did I loot the rest? I think I looted the rest. Except maybe that one? And these ones back here? I don't know. I don't know! Uh, so much pressure. I do like how this looks, though. It's really nice. Uh, oh yeah, I already looted these because these are the farming ones. Alright, um... I think we may have already gotten that one too. Let's... I'm gonna poke around over here. Let's verify. I think I already got this one. I'm just not 100% sure. I don't think I did. 
Cause I don't remember walking in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't remember going to the kitchen like this. Uh, wrong faction. And yeah, that's that's pretty kind of cool. All right. Cool. All right. So we kind of. Was there two? That was just the one there. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna check this out right here. And what do we have here? Because if I remember right from playing before, these are all indestructible. These guys creep me the hell out, which is a very important thing to note. Um, yeah, this creeps me the shit out. Yeah, that that's creepy. Okay. I want nothing to do with that at all. At all. Okay, yeah, Um, let's fly over to that Pentax field and we're going to wrap things up here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, where hopefully I finish the ship, or have it finished, and uh, we're not on the moon mining things, because no one likes me watching mining things because it's boring. Until then, I'll catch you all later. Turtles.